Hey guys, Flubberleaky here today and welcome to Cities Skylines. This is the start of a brand new city, the start of a brand new series, and this is an exciting time. Because if you are watching this, when it comes out, you get to shape the city with me. That's exciting. Because sometimes, you know, if you join a, a, a series when they're, you know, 20 parts in or something, it's like, well, they've done most of the groundwork, but this is an exciting time because we're going to mold the city from scratch. So that, I think that's going to be pretty exciting. Um, so... Now, I posted a short video that was about five minutes long, and I in that video there was a poll. I had I had chosen four different maps, and I asked you guys to vote on them and, and choose which one you liked the most. Uh, and this map here, which is called Delta Range, won with overwhelming success. So this one got 51% of the votes, the next one was 24%, then 15%, then 9%. So this won, but like, it got half of the votes, essentially. So this is the one we're playing on, like I said, it's called Delta Range. The link to this is down below, and you can check it out there. So I thought... I mean, this one looked really cool anyway, so if we have a look at the map, I have the unlock all mod on because I wanted to be able to use all the roads at the beginning of the game. I hate how it, you have to unlock roads, it's really annoying. Uh, there is specific mods here for that, but I was like, I might as well just unlock everything. I mean, we've done the progression thing twice before, we did it in the first city and in the second city. Uh, and I think I, I've got a pretty good grasp on how it works now and how, what not to do in terms of spending too much money. We still have money on, uh, I don't want unlimited money just because I, I like the money aspect, but um... It, anyway, it's not, it's not really that big of a deal. It's usually pretty easy to work around. Uh, we also have... So I cleaned out all my mods. I cleaned out all my assets. I've got currently zero assets in my game, so no custom buildings or anything like that. But I have most of the mods I had last time, plus a few extra, minus some here and there. Uh, but all of those will be linked down below in brand new collection, so you can check that out there as well. And I'll pretty much, I'll bring up the mods as we go through the game. But I, I really don't want to blabber on for like half the video, so let's go ahead and get started. One of the brand new mods I have, <laughs> let's get to more blabbering on. One of the brand new mods I have is the uh, Sharper Angles mod, which uh, allows us to do some pretty cool things. Uh, not that, although I didn't know I could hold down control and do that. Hmm. Maybe that's part of the... The mod. I don't know. Uh, if we go control A, that turns on road anarchy, which lets us do some pretty cool things. I'll demonstrate it a little bit better in a minute. Uh, but first of all, it lets us do that, which a, probably a normal game wouldn't. Uh, then we're going to get a regular road that comes straight off of there. <laughs> yeah, it's a little, little tippins coming off. Well, you know what? That's probably not going to be good. <laughs> well, apart from the fact that it looks awful, the intersection's really small, so it's probably not a good idea. I'm already making mistakes in this city. Uh, uh, how do I want to do this? Why don't we go into a two-lane road? So, actually, yeah. So, what the um, what this anarchy mod lets us do? Let's just do stuff like that. See, so we could come straight off of that road without it, uh, without it complaining and saying we did it wrong or there wasn't enough room, that kind of stuff. So, it allows us basically to get sharper angles in roads. So, we can do stuff like that. Normally, we wouldn't be able to do that. If I turn it off, as you can see. I can't, I can't do that stuff, but with the mod you can. Obviously at extreme angles like this, it's gonna do that, so you... you there, there is a limit to how much you can do, but you can get some pretty nice road angles and it just makes it a lot easier. So that was a mod suggested actually by one of you guys in the comments at the end of the last series, which is actually super helpful, so I very much appreciate that. Did not know this mod existed, so thank you for letting me know. I thought to start off with we'd build along this little river here. Uh, I, I just thought it might be a nice little starting area, and we'll have that connect up to the highway. Obviously, the highway will eventually continue. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking, looking at the, the topography here, we'll probably have the highway come down here and straight along, and maybe bridge up over there, or maybe it'll even come down and go over that way or something like that. Uh, one of the important things to note, um, and one of you guys did mention this in the comments of this map, was that uh, we got to be we got to be really, really vigilant with traffic, because um, if we get a lot of traffic in this lower section, uh, we can't really get to this highway up the top because it's, like, it's really tall. So we want to make sure we have enough highway connections coming down. We'll probably eventually build another one going down over this way as well, like from that point over to there. And I'll sort of feed that area. Uh, this one should hopefully be okay to feed, th like, this should be able to feed, like, this, probably this area here. And then, I think we can handle this, but please, please voice your opinions and feedback in the comments. If I'm doing something stupid, I really want to know about it. But, th don't, don't be rude about it though. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be rude though. Please be nice. Let's turn so we can turn actually we can turn snapping off completely, which is a beautiful thing with the uh uh this mod as well. So uh this is the, the sharper angles mod again. Control S turns off snapping. You can see it down the bottom there. Uh segment snap you can turn on and off. Uh then we also have the bending snap. So the bending snap, I'll show you this real quick, is um oops. Well that was not bending. Uh but if you go turn off bending snap and then we build 
Uh, bending is on. Oh, let me turn off road anarchy. Uh, hang on. So now it's not- the one time it's not doing it as well. Ah. Oh. Well, you know when you build a road and then it, like, bends? And it looks stupid? Maybe I need to turn bending off. No, I don't know. Well, anyway, you'll see it eventually. Right. Uh, so this is gonna be our main area here. We're gonna need water, power, all that kind of normal stuff. We're losing a bit of money here, I guess, because of the roads. Uh, we're gonna actually get a water tower because... Why not? I think it's more expensive, though, for less amount of water. That's probably why not. Uh, water, zero meters cubed a week. Uh, although pumping capacity is 60,000. What is it? What is that, then? No, oh, that's also zero. Oh, that's how much it consumes! Okay. <laughs> You'd think for someone that's played 270 hours of this game, I'd know that the orange text is the consumables and that sort of lime green is the, uh, what it produces. All right, so that's 60,000. I think that's 120,000. Yeah. And they cost the same, don't they? Well, the same amount of power and the same up- Okay, you know what? Let's just get a- let's get a water, water pump. I was gonna get a tower, but it doesn't make any sense. Uh, so this is downstream. We'll put our little poo pump over here somewhere. That'll do for now. We could get one of these, but I think it's just too expensive. 640 a week. That is breaking the bank a little bit, so... We'll play conservative to start off with. If we start making a, bu a bunch of cash, then we'll, we can always upgrade. Um, so that's 80 a week. That is 200 a week. Uh, why don't we- we might get some- oh, actually, there's no- there's no, like, wind- there's wind speed down there, but we don't own that land. To be fair, we could buy plots of land right now as well. But again, I- I- I want to start off a little bit more conservatively. Um, we have a lot of wind up there. I could- I think that could also look cool if we got wind- wind turbines up there, don't you reckon? I think it might look cool. Why don't we get... Slope too steep. And well, can you not be too steep though? There we go. Uh, I don't know, that looks kinda cool. So this is gonna go- yeah, and by the way, so the, the whole thing- so I don't have any assets in my game right now. I wanted to clean out all the old buildings and everything I had. Uh, cause I wanted to leave it open to- I really want you guys to direct where we go with this city. So if there's a certain building that you've seen in the workshop, please let me know. You can't actually post links in the comments of my videos just cause it's a pretty, you know, standard anti-spam technique is to not let people post links. Cause you'd be- you'd probably be shocked to see how many links that get automatically Dumped into spam in my comments. Anyway, let's speed up time a little bit so people actually move in. There we go. Um, if you want to link me to a uh, an asset that you think is cool, or if you can just tell me the name as well, that works. But you can also, you can always tweet me the link. Uh, my Twitter is linked down below in the description. You can tweet me the link, and I can go check it out. Um, because I always find it hard to find some really good some really good assets around the place. So if you have any, if you are aware of any that are really cool, please do let me know. I think we'll just get- yeah, we'll just get residential along the waterfront here. It'd be a nice little area to live. And then we'll get some commercial, maybe a little further down over here by that river. Uh, that's got no power down there. And that probably also has no power. Mm-hmm. So that's gonna go to there. And then this can go... down to there. Alright, so that will give them all water and power. There's obviously no commercial or anything like that just yet. But, you know, this is just a bit humble beginnings of our city. And I think we may even keep this whole area- I think we'll keep this area suburban. Uh, we could go whole hog and make it all high density, but I really don't want to. I think down by the waterfront over there will be our city area. That I think that just makes sense. Uh, especially because I think the highway connections will be easier to manage down there than, than these ones. You also have no water. You're just missing out. That's unfortunate. Uh, oh, I wonder if I could do road anarchy there. Oh my god, road an anarchy works on pipes? Sweet! You can do like really shallow angle pipes. Look at that. Nice. I like that. It's a good mod. Alright, so they want commercial and, uh, industrial. So we're gonna get commercial... Uh... I guess... Well, I think this would be... Actually, hang on, let's have a look at our resources. Because that's probably a good point to have a, have a look at stuff. We have farming capabilities there. I don't really want them to be farming, though. We have oil over there. Um... No, I don't, I don't want them farming, at least not in this area. I don't think we'll do any farming on this map, to be honest. Oh, maybe... No, I, I feel... Maybe this is a good farming area, actually. <laughs> It'd be kind of cool. Uh, I don't know if I can make them look good, though. I don't know, we'll, we'll see. Uh, okay, so... I want to have this road come up around this way. And it's gonna go... up... that bit there. Hang on. Let's bring that back a little bit. Uh, it's gonna go... like this... and then... up that... And then this will probably also connect up to that, that road there, just because it makes sense. 
And then over this side we'll have commercial... I don't know, I feel like this is kind of a commercial area. Why not? All along there, that should hopefully get power from there. Some, if someone builds in that area, they will get power. So hopefully they're not idiots. And industrial. Industrial we want direct highway connections to. So we want to make sure that's close to the highway. Um... I think I think farming would be kind of cool though if we if we got that in over here it probably it'd work really well, um, like having it under these on these bridges here and all that as well. I think it'll look pretty cool. Um, could use all dirt roads. Where should we have it come off though? Maybe there, and then it can go. Now I think I don't think it can go through the supports. I don't like that. Hang on. Let's bring that back a little bit. I think, uh, I don't know if there's going to be zoning under the bridge. I don't think it does zoning. It doesn't... Hmm, that's annoying. Now, I do... Like, there's this thing as well. We can technically force zoning, but I also... I test that. I don't think that works. It, do, it does that. Because I think that's just because it's between that. That's annoying. I wish I could actually have proper zoning there. Uh, but I think this could be pretty cool for having farms here. What do farms look like? Ah, I, don't, I never know how to make this look good. Like, I'm not I'm not good at making farms look good, I don't think. Uh, so if we do that... And then... I don't know. But we do need a connection back to this side, because they can only get to that, that bit currently. Actually, I'm going to move that because that was really close to... There. We've also got to make sure we leave room for... Um... I'll do that for now. We've got to leave room for the highway coming through, so we don't really want to build too much in that area, because we're going to need to... That highway will definitely extend, it's not going to end there at any any rate. Um, okay, so this can go... Maybe like that or something. I don't know, it's kind of interesting. And then we can go bending off, road anarchy on, and then it doesn't do stupid... Yeah, you see that how that, that random bend in it? So it doesn't do that. Um, I don't know, this could be interesting. Let's see, let's get, uh, or let's, actually let's district it first. That's probably a good idea. So all this can be farmland. And I believe I have like the infinite sort of uh, resources mod on as well. Uh, didn't mean to do that. I wanted to go, <laughs> yeah, I wanted to go here. And we're gonna go farmland, agricultural. Oh yeah! Get all the farms in there. Or maybe some along there. I think there's a mod that allows, that enables zoning under bridges. I'll have to check that out. Let, let me know if there is one, and if you know what it's called, then that would help me out greatly as well. Uh, so this is gonna get, we got a little bit of crime happening in the city right now. People are whinging about that. Uh, power is right here conveniently. Oh, why would you build there? Build over here next to the power! Idiots! Alright, we're gonna have to bring the power down like... No, we can get it from... Okay, can you guys... Because I can't go through there. I could probably do no collision, it would work, but... I don't want to no collide it. Alright, we're doing it. <laughs> uh, overlap. And then, turn off overlap. Uh, collide. There we go. Oh, see, look, that, that worked when you do collide. So if we do collide on the roads, it lets us zone there. Alright, interesting. Okay, so we don't need, we don't need like a special mod to do it then. Sweet! Alright, so that gives them all jobs, they can all go farm up that away. We're making a little bit of cash now, so we can actually afford, because they're complaining about a police station, so... We can afford one. Well, I think there's gonna be our little town center here somewhere, so maybe if we can get like... Make it look like a town center. Um... I'd like to try and get something... I don't know, try and make it look like it's something, you know? <laughs> if that makes sense. Uh... So we're definitely going to fill in this whole area. I just don't know how do you how do you make stuff look good. Like I usually just build roads and then at the end I'm like, actually, you know what? That looks awful, and I don't want that to happen. I want it to look good at the end. If we do that, then that goes to there somewhere. Then that goes through that guy's house, um, and then this can go. To there. No, not get rid of that yet. Build a road there, build a road there. Then we get rid of that one. I don't know if I want these old grass line. It's just kind of how it ended up being built. Build it so... Uh, it's a little bit off. I want it to have a similar sort of curve to that road there, you know. 
That's one thing that SimCity 2013 had, was the, uh... You could build the roads, like, perfectly in line with the other ones. Uh, so, Anarchy is... Let's go Anarchy on. Bending off. Segment snap off. So this should hopefully let us kind of put it anywhere, right? Uh, I'm just going to go there, but I can't really get... I can't... I think I just... I just, I just want it to be good, you know? Uh, hang on, let's go... Freeform. Maybe that'll help us out here. Where did my little protractor go? It disappeared. That's better, but it didn't get the full zoning there. Uh, that's alright. Um, and then this can go... I wouldn't mind having a road. I don't know, just, get, just so we can get some interesting roads going in this place. Something like that. That's kind of interesting. Maybe that one should continue down, though. Like that. Those apparently are overlapping and not actually joined, which is, which was interesting. Alright. So we're getting something now. Um, let's go... So we're making money, which is good. Uh, let's go... Got a little tree line road in here. How about that? That'll be nice. I can go there, but it will go like this. I'm go like oh. Actually, you know what? Let's go free form to there. I'm gonna join to there. I don't know why, but why not? I guess it, that's the question. Why not? Uh, probably because that's way too close to that intersection. And people are going to use that as... A lot of people already use that as a cut-through road, so... Uh, just because of the way it's designed, so <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe not, we'll just put it there. Oh, uh, maybe... No, yeah, you know what? You know what? Let's just do it. Let's do it! Uh, let's go residential. So... If this is going to... This road's obviously going to have a lot of people driving up and down it, so it's going to be commercial. So we're going to go commercial. There's going to be like a little green space there. Um, so this going to have commercial going up and down this road. Uh... You guys can bugger off. And also you. The rest can say residential. Then these bits here can be residential. Up through here. They're not going to have any uh, water. But we'll sort that out in a minute. Right, so all of you can be a beautiful residential area. Nice and leafy green. There you go. Did I ever build a police station? I don't remember. Uh, I did not. Because uh, I think I was going to build it around this little town square I was making. There we go. So that should make everyone there happy. Oh, we're having garbage problems as well. Um, I guess we'll go for a landfill at the moment just because I don't really... I should get those recycling centers back. I did like those because they were clean. Um, anyway, so they can dump all their garbage there now, which is good. Uh, you guys... Oh, yeah, that's right. You have no water. I totally forgot about that. I even mentioned it. I was like, you're not going to have any water. But I didn't do anything about it, that's for sure. There we go. That should make them a little bit happier. Uh, so yeah, there's a lot of residential demand, but there's a lot of space to build at the moment, so I think it should be fine. We could definitely see if we can get a, uh, a nice park in there, and we totally can. Put it on that side there. And then we can go for our little pathway to there. I've, I've got the crosswalk mod on as well, which is good. So I can put that there. So I can just cross straight over there. Oh, I guess we should probably do it over here too. Uh, can I turn off snapping? Damn it, snapping doesn't really help us out here. Oh well, that's fine. Thought I'd go there. You know what, let's get a, um, while we're at it, let's get some, I, you know I like doing my pathways, so. Uh, hang on, can I turn off that? Yeah, there we go. Oh, actually no, I don't want to. Oh god, I'm pressing all the wrong keys now. I don't want to remove more zoning than I have to, so I'll just go straight through there. It just allows them to walk straight through from the park up. You know what, we should probably make it, um, can I upgrade that? Sweet. Make it like the dirt so it just matches. That'd be kind of nice. Little town center -y area. Area? Yeah. Uh, and then... Do we want... I guess we should have some of these things, right? Along the rivers. Maybe not yet. We'll see how we go. We probably don't need this anymore. Get rid of that power line. This doesn't need to go all the way in there anymore. I can go to there. That's fine. Ah, nice. Looking good. We can get rid of most of this. All except for that bit. So that's good. Alright, so everyone's pretty happy with the industry. It's getting quite a lot of traffic, but good thing it's not interfering with the rest of the city, so that's good. How is our traffic these days? A little bit heavy there, but... I mean, it's not an ideal interchange by any means, so... 
to be expected. That will obviously have to be upgraded. I mean, we've basically got a load of money right now, so we're not worried about that. So I, I really just want to take our time, you know? Um, I really want to take our time. I don't want to make it bad, basically. <laughs> I don't want to make it bad. Um, let's go like that. Should we go? No, maybe we won't go like that. Maybe we'll see if we can copy that sort of road layout. Just give it some sort of look like it's supposed to be like that, you know? Or just some sort of, at least look like it's tried, tried to be designed. Which I would like it to look more realistic than previous cities. Uh, so that'll go like this. Not quite the same curve, but it's not, not awful. Um, and then we'll do the same thing there, there-ish. We should also get on, uh, public transport early. So we can, uh, make sure it all works. Cool. Alright, so this will probably just go through like that. Whoop, not like that. Like, really? Okay, well, maybe we'll just get rid of those bits, because I don't think we need the end bits there anyway. No, can, can you just go? There you go, buddy. Right, so that'll go to there. Uh, we've got a little bit of space there. We could probably do a park. Also, if I didn't go like, like that with my mouth, that'd be great. Okay, so that should fill in that area pretty well. Um, now, in terms of public transport, I do like some good trains, but the question is, where could we get trains going? Um, like, it, I think it'd be good to, if we had a station in here somewhere. We've only got the giant station, so... Because this is like right in the heart of this downtown area. Well, downtown for this little area, anyway. Um, and then the train could, like, go over to that area somehow, and then probably down to the city or something, so it'd be good, uh, to get, well, I should probably get some of the, all the double track stuff back as well, but I think it'd be good to just mark out some space for a train line. Not necessarily use it, at least not right now, because it's not going to go anywhere, so I'll turn it off, just so we always have the space left over, so we can easily add on to it. Uh, so then we'll obviously have the train, like, come out there, probably go tunnel and come out that way and go over there or something. Um, just so we don't have to, like, shoehorn the stations in at a later date, because that's always really annoying when you have to do that. When you're like, oh, we need to get train lines in. <laughs> oh, wait, we have no room. What a shame. So, you know, we'll make it, we'll make sure we make a little space this time around, you know? So we'll zone all of that. You know what? We'll get rid of those a little bit. Fix that in a second. Uh, so this will, for now, connect down to that bit, because it won't interfere with any zoning. How are we going with power, by the way? Yeah, quite well. Like th those three wind-powered, uh, well, wind-powered windmills. Those three windmills are doing very well. No water in this section, though. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, there you go. There you go, buddy. Um, I don't like that road in there. It kind of breaks the flow, especially because it looks different too. There you go. It's not the same angle, but it's interesting. I don't know. It doesn't, it doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't have the look, I, I don't, I don't know how to make it not look artificial. I mean, obviously, well, that makes no sense, but you know what, you know what I mean, like, make it look like a real kind of suburb or something like that. Alright, we've got a little bit of demand for industrials, I think there's still zoning there, though, there's still a little bit of space they can zone anyway. We can zone up a little bit more. Definitely going to have to uh, get some proper roads in there at some point. We probably should have made the main road into this area... If we can make it a, uh, small four lane, that'd be good. Yeah, that, um... That garbage dump's in the way, which is annoying, because it's now gonna have stuff in it, so... We should get on moving that sooner rather than later, because that's gonna be annoying. Let's put that... There. Right, let me go, uh... Hang on. There we go. Empty that one, and then we'll... We'll just upgrade that road, because then that just gives us more infrastructure for the future. We'll also get rid of those traffic lights for now. I think it should be okay. We should probably turn that into a proper uh, little interchange as well in a minute. Right, so once that's empty, it shouldn't take too long, because it was only 4% full anyway, so I don't think it should be a problem. 1%. Uh, and then we can... Yeah. Almost out, and there's like a billion garbage trucks going between them there. Cool, alright, let's just get rid of that one. And then we're going to upgrade that section of the road. There we go. Cool. Uh, that's not connected to anything, which is not ideal. There we go. Alright, cool. So that just gives us a better road here so we can build off of that and make sure we can feed the area. Uh, 
Getting all our poo. Oh, that poo's gonna flow all the way out to the city. Is there a poo lake around somewhere that we can fill up with? Because a poo lake would be really useful. I don't think there is any little lakes. I think it all flows everywhere. Hang on, let's have a look. It's gotta be like a little closed off lake, right? That's closed off over there. I wonder if we can get to that. Uh, let's see. We can probably get to that. Oh, I've got to go up like this way. There we go. So now I can go over here. We can dump all our poo in that bit. Oh, wait, no, it flows out to the... Oh, no, it's flowing in. But that might event... That'll probably eventually fill up, right? Oh, damn it. Hmm. So I guess it's better than flowing toward the city, though, isn't it? Uh... I don't know. I don't know where we can safely dump our poo without it flowing everywhere. Hmm. Yeah, there's no- I don't- I don't think there's any little lakes in this map. I guess that's probably our best bet, especially because we just bought all that. We might as well dump into it, so let's do it. Uh, because at least... for now, it's flowing into this. Uh, this will probably get covered in water pretty quickly. So, <laughs> we'll probably have to keep moving this thing. Um... But... Yeah, at least this won't directly flow- Wow, it's a long way away. How- Oh, it's going outside of the map border. How much is it- Oh, it's not that much to build, so that's fine. Um... Yeah, because that's gonna flow direct- Because if we're building the main city downtown area there, we can, this is gonna be filled up with poo by the time we do that, so... You know what? Let's clean it out now. Or at least let's put it somewhere- Well, not clean it out. Let's put it somewhere else. We could get the sanitation thing. It would be a little bit cheaper, but... Um... We're not gonna do that, so... Uh, I'm just trying to build this in a way that doesn't make it look ridiculous, like it's going up super tall mountains and everything. There we go! Hooray! Oh, that's already underwater because it's just filled itself with crap. <laughs> it's just flooded itself. Oh, there we go, now it's kind of flowing in. Yep, there goes all our city's poo. And then that one should wash away. I guess that, that one was diluting quite well, though, because... Oh, someone's dead. We're gonna need to get a, uh... Little funeral. Not funeral home. A crematorium. Because that's quite good. I like crematoriums. I'll uh, put that there. Uh, we'll need... We'll probably need a clinic, too. It's not a bad idea. Um... Get in this little town square. Um... As long as we're still making a profit. A lot of, lot of residential demand. Uh, which I guess we might fulfill up over this way a little bit. You know what, it might be interesting if we get some of these three-lane turns, because that's kind of cool, because then you have like a little turning lane. No, you don't. That's the wrong way. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to do that side of the road. Whoops. Because uh, if we do it on this one... There you go, so that's now a turning lane. Yeah, that's kind of cool. And that will be... No, didn't need to do it on that one. Only on these ones. Only on uh, right-hand turns you need it. Also, yeah, I'm, I'm aware we're running out of power. That was probably driving some of you insane that I wasn't addressing it, right? Yeah, let's get a couple more of those. I like the idea of wind power. It's not, uh, wind power with those is not sustainable. At least not right now. We have no fire department. So let's get one of those! Uh, <laughs> so just realized there's a building was burning down. We're definitely gonna need one out over here too. Um, we'll get on the main road. Does that take care of those guys? That's most of those guys covered. Uh, we should probably also make this a district at some point. Yeah, we've got a lot of residential demand, so we'll, we'll look at that soon. Uh, yeah, so any right-hand turns we can use that uh, three... Three lane thing, which is pretty cool, I think. Uh, although, I, you, I just noticed he turned from that lane. That is a straightforward lane. And so did you. Hope I'm hoping that's just old traffic and the new traffic that comes along won't do that. Because it's actually really annoying. I built you a special lane and everything. But anyway. To each their own, I guess. Uh, let's go down this way. Um, got like a little road under here and all that. We'll go to there. Won't really go anywhere yet, but that's fine. Um, we'll go... I would do a road like that, but then you know exactly what's going to happen. They're all going to drive straight through there and not down the bottom. Uh, but maybe we'll do that anyway. I think we'll do it anyway. And what we'll do... Is we'll... Select... No, we'll select this road. And we'll make this one slower. So this will be 15. It'll be painfully slow. So therefore the AI will always prefer that way because it's quicker to go around that way than go straight through. Yeah, that'll work. 
in theory. <laughs> in game theory. Thanks for watching. And cut. Wait, no, that's film theory. <laughs> that's just a theory. There we go. That's game theory. Um, anyway, yeah, cool. A little game theory. Uh, little plug there. All right, let's get these houses in. Yes, yeah, so this all just be residential down this area. I think it'll be kind of kind of nice to live around here. Uh, I will have probably the road coming off here. Um. Maybe like that, and then... I don't know. I, I really don't know. Like, I don't know how I want this to look. I, I don't know how it's gonna look. Is the main problem. I mean, it's early days. If there's something real bad, we can... Like I said, we can always change it, so... Um, what I wanted to do was go... That's not really gonna work, is it? Let's go the other way. Let's go up like this. Um, so I'll go like that, run parallel to the road, and then maybe we could have like another... It's probably not really worth our while having another road there, that's just gonna... I think that's unnecessary if we do a little connection there, because it's only gonna be the people living here that would use that, and then the rest of them can use that sort of main road there. Oh, you have no power? Well, there you go, jerks. Suck on that. Haha! <laughs> oh wait, you wanted that? Okay, never mind. Uh, what we should do... Let me just pause. Uh, let's get some useful little pathways for these guys, because I feel like they could use some nice, uh, quick ways to get around. Um, that'll go there. That'll go there. And then... No, that won't go there. That'll go... Maybe just... Oh, maybe it will go there. No, I got like this, because I'm just trying to see if there's a quick way they could, like a quick way to walk down toward the sort of main commercial hub that we have going on. Oh, well, toward the train station, I guess. That's where our train station is. If we go straight through this way, um, and then that will take him to the main road. There. I guess that'd be fine, because that'll take him to this main road. I don't know. I actually don't know if that's going to be any quicker than us walking there. But they probably would have walked that way. I don't know. Someone will probably walk up there. Who who knows? Let's just put it in there now for for, for reasons. Uh, we won't do a crossing there, it's not needed. We'll do one there. Um, they won't have a crossing there. Those guys, those guys don't deserve it. Cool. Uh, so let's get all, all this to just be all residential down this way. Not on the main road there. And obviously that main road, we can upgrade it to four lanes if need be, which is quite good. So all this is just going to be residential. Straight up this little bit. Uh, up that back road there. Cool. Alright, so that's going to fill in that area quite nicely. A little bit there. Uh, we'll get some commercial, or some more commercial along this main strip as well. Now, I'm wondering, we should get probably get that train line in where I want it to go, because I don't actually know... Um, this may not even stay here, but I just want to have enough room that it's going to be useful. Um, so this may even be the end of that residential area there, and then they may have to go around that way. Probably not, we'll probably have a road there, because <laughs> it'll probably be kind of stupid otherwise, but... Uh, see how we go. So this is not going to go up, we're going to go... Underground here. Uh, we're going to try and remain level. Because trains generally don't ascend and descend particularly well. They can. But it's ideal to have them not having to ascend and descend. Um, why is that not snapping? Do I have snapping off? No, now I have it off. Uh, road anarchy. Why is that not snapping? Well, it is now. Right, so this is actually just going to tunnel all the way under until here, probably, and it'll come up. That's a really weird, that's a really weird tunnel exit, and I don't like that. Why is it doing that? What does it look like? Not ideal, but it might be okay. Um, and then it would come along like this or something. I don't know, but, it, well, pff, well, not like that. But anyway, that's kind of the idea. I just want the, the railway in there so that when we do need to use it, it's it's ready to go. Um, that's that's the idea behind it anyway. Um, well, we've got $445,000. Um, we're not making a whole bunch of money right now, though, so I don't want to go... I don't want to go... I was about to go crazy on building a highway, but I don't want to do that just yet because I don't really have a lot of money. Um... Let's get some commercial around the rest of this area. That should also be residential there, because we've got a bit of space. Now, what else did we need that I hadn't built yet? We did a clinic. 
We did garbage. We did uh, water is fine. Power is okay. Fire, not great. It's okay coverage. Uh, we don't have any education. I'll maybe get an elementary school in. Maybe on this main road there. Covers a lot of the area. Yes, it does. Cool. So that's going to go straight through there. And you will need a little bit of water too. Now, I, was, I saw a, a prime opportunity to get a little pathway in. Up to there. You know what? Not up to there. Right up to where the other pathway is. That would have been smart. Because then they could walk up there, up to the school. And then we can actually put a crosswalk there. I wasn't going to put one there, but now we are. Uh, so then anyone going to school can walk up that way instead of having to go... Otherwise, they have to go all the way around. I don't mind them driving all the way around. But uh, as far as walking goes, if you want to walk straight up there, it's going to be a little bit quicker than going around the other way. So there you go, buddy. Oh, look at all the little people we have walking everywhere. It's great. They love it. Uh, a little bit of a fire over there. No worries. I mean, it's coming along all right. I think it, d it doesn't look horrible. It's not amazing, but it doesn't look horrible. Um, I'm making a little bit of money too. So there's quite a bit of uh, thing I demand. So what I'm going to do, let's go like this and let's go overlap. Uh, that didn't work. I was hoping that was going to give me the zoning tiles there. Um, collide? Overlap has just done that section. Hang on, let's do this again. Let's go. <laughs> Overlap and let's build the road again. Overlap's giving me no zoning at all. Huh. Alright. Normally when I do that, it gives me zoning, right? It's interesting. Very interesting. Fourth zoning. How about that? No, see, it still doesn't get zoning underneath the bridge, which is really annoying. But I better, I think if we use this one, no, hang on, let me go back to, yeah, pillars. Uh, if we go overlap on the normal road, I think it does. Whoops. No, it doesn't. Wait, how did I do it? I somehow did it before. It's not collided. No, collide is normal. How did I, how the hell did I get, um, zoning tiles down there? Oh, maybe I changed one of the other, I think I changed one of the other roads and then it did it. I think that's how I did it. So if I go... Uh, overlap. On that road there. But then go back to collide. Hang on, let's go back to collide. So collide, let me just... You know, change these back to normal. Uh, all these are collide, blah blah blah. All good. Then we change this one back to this road. Then we go to this road. Then we go overlap. Nah, that didn't make any difference. I don't... How the hell did I do that? I don't know. I just think it'd be cool to have, like, stuff underneath. Whoops, did not mean to change that one. That was a complete accident. Uh, <laughs> whoops. Collide. Yeah, damn, I just destroyed a farm, too. Sorry, guys. Um, that's weird, that's weird that the, uh, the shadow disappears when you scroll back to there, but anyway. Um, do I, yeah, I don't want to, do I want to expand to this area a little bit more? I guess we could. I mean, it's right next to a garbage dump. It's not ideal for farming, I wouldn't imagine. Oh, you know what? No, garbage is great for farming. It's like fertilizer and all that. <laughs> I get real fertile land. Um, like that or something. I'll go through there. Sure, that'll be fine. Uh, that go oh, that's not <laughs> that's not farming. There you go, and all of that. That should make him happy, and it'll probably increase the traffic like an absolute crap ton, but that's fine. We should probably make some districts, because we haven't actually done that. We did, like, the farming district, but that was about it. So this can all be, I think all this area will be one district, to be perfectly honest. I was gonna make them two different, but then I was like, you know what? No, this this is, like, one area, so it doesn't need to be two different districts anyway. Uh, so that'll be fine. That'll be one district. It's cu currently called Ivy Park. Feel free to suggest names for the district down below. Uh, and let's have a look at uh, what policies we would like to do down here. I think I might give them a smoke detector. It's going to cost us a bit of money, but I think it's going to be worth it. Uh, means our fireies don't have to work as hard. Uh, we will also go for... Nothing else, probably. Oh, you know what we should do? We should increase our taxes. Usually I go up to like 11% and they're happy with that, so... Let's go 11% tax on everything. Oh, you guys have not enough power. Uh, I realize we don't have any high density yet, but I'm going to increase them now, so don't forget. Uh, not enough power, sorry about that. Let's get another one there. Yeah, I don't know that we have a lot of room left for anymore. Oh, we get one in there. 
And we don't need a power line anymore because it's connected. There you go. Oh, you guys don't have any water? Oh no, this is cause oh no, you actually don't have water. I was going to say it's because we don't have any power, but it's because you actually don't have water there. There you go. Um, cool. All right, so that's coming along quite nicely, I think. I have a lot more residential demand as well. It's a nice, a bustling little little town area. Now, look at that. It's looking good. Looking good. Um, we can even get like a little monument kind of thing in here. Maybe like we could get a little courthouse down here. So then it will look like a real little town center, you know? If we move the police station, maybe over to there. And then we go... Actually, how much, does it co how much does this cost me? Uh, 320 a week? We can afford it. I think that's just such a perfect spot for it. Can I turn off snapping on it though? Damn. I want it to go. It's not going to go right in the middle, which is actually really annoying me. Uh, yeah, that's, that's annoying. I'll go there, but it's actually not in the middle though. Oh, it's actually it's not bad. It's pretty close. Uh, so now that I do have to walk around, but now it's like a little yeah, a little courtyard for the little the town hall. Well, it's, well, it's a tax office, but let's just pretend it's a town hall. Uh, <laughs> let's pretend it's a town hall. Um, cool. All right, so we can get some more. We'll get a little bit more commercial up here now because there's more demand anyway. This road was going to be commercial, so that's fine. And uh, good. And we need to fill in this area here. I think what we'll do. I really wish they had like one lane roads. I know they have like the highway, but you can't. Oh, actually, can can I force zoning on a highway? Does this work? Because it'd be kind of good. Ooh. I don't know. I think I'd just be nice because like we have such small spaces. I think it'd be, I just thought it'd be nice to have like little uh, one lane roads going places. I'll obviously adjust the speed limit so it's not eighty, but I thought it might be fun to have like because we have like this little this little area here could be good. To have like a little one lane road on it or something. That only goes down. To there. Um, and then we'll adjust the speed limit. No, we. Oh, there we go. Uh, so that'd be 40, like a normal road. Uh, and that'd be just a little residential road, that's all. I don't know, I thought that'd be kind of cool. Because then it's like, um, you just have. Because you know, like. Usually along like waterfront areas, sometimes there's like a bunch, like there's so many houses there that just have like little roads and all that, so I don't know. Interesting. I might not leave that one there per se, but just kind of a, a proof of concept kind of thing. Almost don't need power lines there either, it's almost connected up there. Um, I mean obviously the, the only downside about living here is these guys have to- okay, can a truck not drive down there though? I'm gonna have to... Oh wow, I really don't like people driving through there. Yeah, because it's quicker to get down there than... Okay, what we're going <laughs> to... Yeah, that's becoming a major through road for all these people. Um, I might actually... For the sake of... People not using this road, might actually just make this a separate district. And then only people that live in this district can drive through here. Because that's ridiculous. I, don't, I, don't, I just don't want everyone driving through there like that. But, I mean, I know we could do the uh, turn off the trucks thing, but... Policies. Right, so if we actually on this one go... Um, Old Town. I think it's Old Town. Um, only residents and businesses can drive through there. So that will stop everyone that doesn't live there driving through this road, because that is annoying. <laughs> I don't want the whole town driving through there. I only want these guys driving through there. Uh, so that should hopefully, in a second, when the traffic... Because that guy's coming in from out of town. But uh, no new traffic should be rooted through here, at least. Uh, which should hopefully be good. Um... Okay, so, uh, before we wrap up, uh, I want to... Let's redo this highway entrance. I think it's time. I think it is time. So let's get, uh, regular three-lane highway. Uh, get rid of that too. Regular three-lane highway. That's four-lane. Three-lane. This will go... This is weird, hang on. Uh, turn off... Snapping is back on. There we go. Cool. Right, so this is going to come through this way. I don't know exactly where it's going to go right now, but for now I'm just going to take it there and we're going to assume it's going to go up there or across there. So it's going to go like this. Um, and that's going to come over that way. So that's what we're going to assume that's going to be doing. That's going to go across there. Then we'll turn this into a pretty, pretty standard. Do these, have they made uh, bridges of these yet? Oh my god, they have they've made bridge versions! Yes! They for the longest time they didn't have bridges of these four-lane roads. That's so exciting. Whoops. 
And there, there I go, making not a bridge. Um, so let me change the increment. I'm gonna go up seven, because I think seven is as high as you need to go. Uh, I'm also gonna change it into elevated construction. Not elevator, elevated. Seven is probably a little too low. Let's go a little higher. Let's go up to, let's go up to ten. Ten will be fine. Um, so this is gonna go to there, and then probably just arc over it, like. So, I'm going to go back down. Hopefully we should be able to... Oh, that's so exciting that they have the bridge version of that now. Do they have a tunnel version? I think people are saying they have the tunnel version. And it, uh... No, it's got normal construction. And it actually rendered, like, it has a rendered tunnel so you can see in it. <gasps> it does! Oh! So when we build tunnels, we'll be able to see it in them! That's exciting, guys. All right, let's get rid of that. I don't want that now. Right, so, oh yeah, should probably connect up the highway before we resume the game. So we're just gonna basically just connect this up. Like, uh, not from tunnels. Uh, like that. Oh, you know what? If we go road anarchy, then we can have a really smooth exit. Look how smooth that is. And then this can come really back in real smooth too. Well. Obviously there's, there's limits. Especially when it's going uphill, so I'll forgive it. Um... I don't- I don't have enough room here. I didn't think I did, and I definitely don't. So let's, uh, let's give ourselves a bit more room on this side. So this is gonna go- hang on. Snapping. Okay. Oh, I actually turned off snapping. That will explain that one. Um, right, so this is gonna go back down. About there. And then this will just turn back into a two-lane at the bottom, I think. Uh, curve is gonna be slightly off, so let's fix that up. Okay, and then this one will go like that. Yeah, there you go, that works. Cool, all right, so then we should be able to hopefully get some better connections. I've oh, got a little bit more space, hang on. What is happening? I don't think that's actually snapping on. That's snapping on. Um, hang on, turn on road anarchy, of course. And snapping. I mean, it's real bumpy, but I think it's going to do for now, to be honest. It, it'll do. <laughs> it's real bumpy. There we go. Alright, well, I mean, that works, so... I don't like that they're really uneven, like the... how far out they go. I like I like how slender that, that one is. It's really nice. Now, let's do it from this angle, because then we can go... There we go. Obviously, i got to flip the direction of it, too. There you go, that's quite good. That's a little steep, but that's fine. Uh, so, oh, what happened there? That's annoying. Damn it. It's almost how I wanted it, except for that. <laughs> except for the, you know, the hideous connection. Alright, let's try again. Uh, let's go from about there. There you go, that's better. I mean, it's a little... a little bumpy, but... Again, we'll probably- we'll probably- this will probably change. Uh, we'll leave it as traffic lights for now. We'll see how that handles it. That's a little bit of a speed bump there, but... We'll see how the traffic lights handle- we'll get rid of those ones, though. Um, it'll be interesting, I think. It's interesting to have a four-lane road. That's a bridge. And that's the width of a regular smaller- oh, it's, exci it's exciting- exciting times, guys. Uh, yeah, you can see all the industrial traffic going on here. Uh, it's good though, we have a- okay, can you not cut across? Like, did you see that dude? He cut across, like, he went up in this lane and then cut into the turning lane. Look, that guy did it too. Can you not? Like, get in your lane back there. Oh, you. See, these guys are blocking up for people that want to go straight ahead too. Are you serious? That is not okay. You cannot do that. You either go there, or there. Actually, no, you don't do that. You go to that one, because these guys will go to there. But anyway, whatever. Um... Yeah, can you not do that? Because that's actually really annoying. <laughs> so hopefully they get in the right lane. We'll see how we go. What we should do, this should be only a turn lane. So then they get in that lane, and then they'd have to go... They'd have to change lanes here at the intersection to there or there. Oh, I don't want to get into like super lane management, because I, I did that in the last video. I think we got, we got a little carried away with lane management, so I don't want to dive too much into that. Uh, but I seem to be working a little bit better now. At least I don't th I don't see anyone like cutting across like they were before. Uh, everyone seems to be in the correct lane, at least. Except for that guy, just, he just turned out of the lane. 
but he might have yeah see that why where are they coming hang on where are they coming from that they're doing that um see look you can see there's people doing it there they, they go out of the lane at the last second where are they coming from though are they from here yeah they're coming from here and then turning into the wrong lane well why would you turn into the wrong lane get into the correct one then I also don't like why why is that so yeah there's like a tiny little segment there let's just rebuild this section um that might just make it easier yeah, it doesn't have like the smooth curve going across now, but at least it's not glitchy and weird. Um, let's just, you know what? Let's just get rid of those lane assignments and let's just see how the traffic handles itself. Now, now that we don't have that weird tiny section as well, it might be a little bit better. Um, we will need to immediately upgrade this entrance or exit. So we have one left hand lane and one right hand lane. Because it's going to make, yep, yeah, because we're going to fit more traffic there now, which is good. Um, I don't think I need a lane manager. I think, I think the AI has figured out which lane it needs to go in. Uh, yeah, still people turning, they, by default, they turn from this outside lane, which is really annoying. So I'm definitely going to disable that again. I've, I've noticed a few people doing that. Uh, yeah, see, look there. They, you can't turn from that lane, you pricks. That's not how traffic works. So you go to that one or that one. And this one goes there. This one goes there, or there. You make up your mind and you bloody go there. There we go. Lane managing! Right, so they should hopefully make up their mind these days. Ah, oh, yeah. No, that's good. Um, not enough goods. Uh, yeah. Oh, not enough educated work. Oh, really? I thought we had, like, low density, though. I guess it is low density, but they might have upgraded their level. Uh, well, we'll address that soon. We also need way more industrial. We need that soon, too. But that'll be that'll be next episode. I, I want to get your feedback on what we've done so far, what you think, what we should change, what we should name the districts, what assets I should get. You know, all the things I asked for. Get it in the comments down below. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time, and have an awesome day.